In this session, we're going to take a look at creating custom order forms for our custom apparel orders. And we do this very often in the business relating to sending out forms for schools, groups, organizations, etc. And very often, these order forms have different options available with them, such as colors, sizes, types of apparel, etc. We want to be able to very easily create a custom table in CorelDRAW where we can put all of those options in an organized fashion so customers can mark quantities, what they want, etc., get their totals together, and then you can collect the order forms and process the orders. I'm not going to get into the basic layout, which is just simple text and things like that in this session, but I am going to get into working with the table tool and the artistic text tool to set up a custom table like this that your customers can use to order from you through an order form. Here on page two, I have the same table set up without the rest of the order form included, just so we can take a look at this. Now what I'll typically do is I'll take the artistic text tool and the first thing I'll do is just type out all of the different options that are going to be available in the custom order form. So the first thing we'll do is we'll take a look at the artistic text tool. That's over here in the toolbar. I go ahead and select that and then I can start typing. I could type in sizes and then I could add colors, say white and all the different information or options that would be available in the order form. Now by typing them out in lines like this, when I'm done, I'll go ahead and delete this. I can come over here, select my artistic text that I've all typed out in lines, and then just hit Control K, and that will break all of those apart, and then I'll have all of these separate artistic text objects available to work with that I can then move over into my table once I've created it. The next thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and create a table in CorelDRAW. So I'd come over here to the table tool. I'll select that and you'll see that the properties bar will change. Now these numbers were already set in here as I was preparing for the tutorial, which would be a seven by 10 table, depending on how much information or how many options you're gonna have available in your custom order form. All I need to do then, once I've set this up, is just left click, hold down, drag, and I'll start creating my table and then I can go ahead and release that. Now, once you have a table set up in Corel, you can change it and work with it in different ways. And the best thing to do is just experiment with this for a little while. I can change the number of rows and columns. I can change the width of the outlines, etc., and things like that. I can also start to work with the shape tool here. So I can go to my shape tool, select that, come to my column, and you'll see that if I hover over this line in this column, I can move that. And I can do the same thing here. And then I could take these here and then move this one over here. Left click, hold down, move. And I've got all of that set up. And then I've got this set up here where I'm going to have my total quantities. Now what I can do is I can come in here and select all of these left click, hold down, drag cells. And then I can right click and go to distribute columns evenly and you can see what happened there. I can also come and select all of the cells in the table, come up here and I'll change to all, and I'll change my outline to, let's say, two points, and that's actually a little bit too big, I could go to 1.5. You can see now that's set up as a custom order form. Then I can go ahead and resize my text objects, bring them down to a size that'll fit into the cells that are in my tables and just start adding them as you can see here. And putting them all in place. The other thing that I can do if I want to get rid of all of this information down here for my sizes, I can get my shape tool and come here, click here and just go right through here and just select all of these. Right click and select merge cells. Now I've got my custom order form. Then I go ahead and put all of the different artistic text objects relating to the options for the order in place and very quickly I would have created a custom order form that I could then add back into the form or the flyer that I'm going to send to the organization or the group. So it's very easy for us working with the table tool and once again the best thing to do is just experiment with this for 5 or 15 minutes in the different options and you'll become familiar with it and know how it works and you'll be able to build your own custom order forms 
literally in a matter of minutes working with the table tool and artistic text in CorelDRAW. So go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.